This is going to be a quick and easy two minute video on how to fix this pairing fault on the Worcester Comfort Plus 2 RF thermostat. Now this is for the line of Worcester boilers which have the key card that go in the bottom and you'll notice that when you have this fault you can't use the thermostat. You push the buttons, it doesn't do anything, it seems like it's broken but all we need to do is repair it. So the first thing we're going to do is a factory reset on the key card. Now in terms of how we're going to do this, we're going to push down and hold and it's going to do a long beep. It's then going to be followed by two short beeps and then you're going to let go. Then we're just going to wait until it starts continuously flashing yellow. And there you go, it's now ready to be paired with the thermostat again. Now we're going to head over to the thermostat and start the pairing process. So to do that we're going to push this circle button till we get to this screen, push and hold down these two buttons, then we're going to scroll all the way to the right, click on installer, then we're going to scroll all the way to the right until we see radio settings. When it says pairing zero, push down on the circle button and it will start counting down from 120 seconds to start pairing. Now, it won't take that long, it will probably take 10, 20 seconds. I'll show you mine as an example, it's pretty quick. And once it turns green, it means it has paired successfully. Excuse the little camera shake, I, <laughs> I sneezed there. So once it's green, you can then click the bottom left button to just go back to the main screen. Keep clicking it till you get to the main screen. There you go. Now I'm going to turn the temperature up on the thermostat to see if the boiler responds to it and turns the heating on. And there you go. Boiler's fired up, heating's coming on. So now I'm going to turn the thermostat all the way down just to prove that it does turn off and everything works as it should. And in a few seconds, we should lose the flame symbol on the thermostat and the heating should turn off. There you go, flame symbol's gone. And the thermostat is working exactly how it should.